everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining us on today's hot rod, exotic, convertible, everything video. You say, Tony, how can a Maserati be a hot rod? Well, let me just tell you something, man. The way cars do things, they all try to do them the same. However, they're all differently presented. In this case here, we actually have some cubic inches and some liters, right? Almost five liters of V8 in the S models here, okay? Serious sound, serious horsepower. I love driving these cars. As a matter of fact, usually as my daily driver, these are the best used car value out there. You don't have to spend a gazillion, quadrillion dollars compared to the way they were new, and you get a spectacular looking car today. This is a 2011. We're doing this video in 2022. This car still looks modern, modern, modern today. It just looks great. Anyway, uh, we're gonna spend some time talking about some of the stuff you get with it. We're gonna take a peek under the hood, which is really as nice looking as the rest of the car too. We see already that the top is down. We're gonna talk about the proper gel you're gonna need. You're gonna need some high speed gel, especially if you get this car. We're gonna need to talk about the brand. And if you're gonna speed and drive really fast, we'll talk about the secondary level of gel that you'll need for that too. Okay, so I wanna talk about styling for a minute. Everybody says, wow, that's a great looking Maserati. However, we don't know why a lot of times it is a great looking car. So let's talk about this for a second. For instance, this front end of this car, one of the pioneers of this giant long uh, headlamp here, that snout there. However, this is the cool part about this car. This is a mid-engine car. You say, Tony, how could it be a mid-engine car? Is it in the back, back there in the trunk? No, no, no. The engine starts here. Okay, right where the center line of the wheel of the axle is and goes all the way back to here. All of this in here is all just for styling of the car. Straight crazy, right? So you throw in that, throw in these great fender vents, turn signals down here designed by who? Pininfarina, right? Who designs Ferrari, all kinds of other great cars. The wheel and tire combination is fabulous. And then throwing in those big, big red brakes with the Maserati callouts on them, cross-drilled rotors or whatever. This is a serious performance car, but it's also an easy, easy daily driver. And that's exactly what Maserati wanted to do. When they brought this car back to the country, they offered a 40-year, 40,000-mile warranty because they knew they had to be serious and be a player in the U.S. They had to guarantee the cars, and that's exactly what they did. These cars are stone reliable. I drive them all the time, and they are fabulous. All right, so I like to always say something about the paint on these cars because it looks so good in the camera. It's blue Mediterraneo. I'm sure I butchered that in Italian. Being Italian, I'm sure I butchered it anyway. But I'm working through that right now. I'm in therapy. Maybe you guys could help uh, me join there. Maybe drop me off and pick me up from my therapy sessions. Anyway, back to the paint. The paint, all right, looks great. Look how nice you can see all of the letters in there. Nice and crisp. Great color combination. What I do so love about the car as well is it changed colors. At night, it's much darker blue. During the light, when we've got all this light here outside here, it becomes a brighter blue and then throw in the cognac interior and it just looks spectacular. All right, so we're gonna open the hood of here. You may wanna go to a car show. You may never wanna look under the car at all. I don't really know, but the engine compartment in here is finished. They did a great job with that and I wanna also show you why this is called a mid-engine car, okay? The valve covers here are spectacular. They are wrinkle coated, this coating that they put on it in red. The intake manifold is satin black and satin trim all the way around in here, okay? I talk about a mid-engine car and here is why. This is the front of the engine, okay? I'm looking at the front of the engine right here. This is the center line of the front wheel, okay? And now we can see that the engine is behind the front wheel, so if the front wheels aren't carrying all the weight in front of it, right, and making the car plow in the corners. That's why the car handles so well, because the engine is pushed back so far. This is all just for styling, and that's what makes this car so good, because it is one great looking car. And then you see the regular things in here, but it's easy to take care of, man. They has a major service. The major expensive service is at 100,000 miles. That's a long time from now. I won't even be alive then. So. I might not be the one to service it. But anyway, my point is, you could drive this for a really long time. I'm back to the regular thing about it being a daily driver. And the good thing is like all of the decals and everything are all in still in place. So we know this is all original here uh, and unmolested. All right, so styling. Obviously, this is a great looking back end of a car, right? But there's a performance piece to it that a lot of people don't know about. Remember, these cars can go 180 miles an hour in certain versions, 180 miles an hour. They have to be able to handle and stay on the road well. They have this diffuser back here, which really works. They have this uh, spoiler that's built into the trunk lid, okay? But the car is also functional. It's got backup sensors. 
The exhaust system is amazing. The exhaust system is a nice sounding, great exhaust until you put the push, ooh, push the sport button. When you push the sport button, right, the valves inside the exhaust open up and you get this great sound, especially when you put it in manual mode, then it's on all the time. When you move the shifter over and you use the paddles, it is a great sound. When it's in drive, it only makes the valves open up at 3000 RPMs and above. So if you just want to drive a regular car and still be on the phone, you wouldn't have to hear it. All right. Secondly, uh, well, thirdly, fourthly, and fifthly, a lot of the things I just talked about, golf clubs. They gave it some thought. They carved out the sides of the trunk inside here. A set of golf clubs fits inside this trunk. They like to put that in their ad. A lot of people don't think that, that that's the case, but I like to show that off as well. And then back underneath here is a big well for uh, storage, maybe an air compressor for the run flat tires or a uh, toolkit, whatever else you want to put back there. And that's all in there. So it's a real functional trunk. And then lastly, it's just a great looking car back here. Okay, so we looked at the outside, which everyone else will see most of the time. You're not going to see it as much. You know why? Because you're going to be in here, and that's where we're headed right now. So let's get inside here. I like to show off this as well because being 6'1", uh, it allows me to give you an idea of how much room is there. Now I have the seat slid up so that another adult could sit back there. Another adult. This seat slides so much farther back. I could keep going and going and going, and it goes all the way down. Like, look how much room like a six foot five, six foot six person, maybe even a six, seven person uh, could find room in here. Tilt wheel, all power, the black wood trim of the dash in here, this cognac interior, these little touches like Italian things like the chrome trim rings around each one of those buttons. It just adds a little something to it. The climate control still looks modern. Uh, the stereo system looks modern, and there's that fabulous sport button that we talked about earlier, right, that gives you that great sound and great feel. 9,000 RPM tack with a 7,500 RPM red line. Youch, how you doing? All right, 200 mile an hour speedometer. I don't suggest that you try out all 200 of them uh, at your discretion. You drive whatever you want. Throw in the color coordinated stitching here in the seats, the blue stitching that matches the exterior out there, and you just have one spectacular car outside and in, comfortable, fast, and just awesome. Well, one of the things I like to talk about in a car like this is the back seat. And you say, well, Tone, I uh, never hear you talk about back seats of cars. You're absolutely right. I don't spend a lot of time back there. That's not super important. But in this case here, it is important. I'll tell you why. Because typically these kinds of cars have zero back seat. Zero. The seat slides all the way to the back of the, of the back seat. There's nobody could sit back there. It's all joke. But however, this car has room for two adults, two big kids, another couple, whatever. And it has safety stuff built in as well. First off here, we have a uh, pop up uh, roll bars. And if the car tilts in any direction, these pop up and line up with the, the windshield there, helping uh, add safety to it. A full length console runs from the back of the here all the way there. It's got a subwoofer built in with the Bose speakers there. It's just a really, really nice back seat. I love to show it off because it's beautifully done with the stitching and everything like that. All right, so we close up this video and let's run down some of the stuff we talked about. We talked about 4.7 liter V8 making, you know, almost 450 horsepower. Big wheels and tires, great color combination. The interior with the stitching and the wood inside and the infotainment system and the blue gauges on the dash, like all of that little styling stuff, only the Italians do that. They just do such a great job at the little things which add up to a just a spectacular car. Anyway, I just see that this car continues to be to be relevant today as it does five and 10 years from now. The styling of it is fabulous. It's easy to drive. It has the largest back seat of any uh, Grand Touring convertible sold out there right now. So you can take another couple out. You can take the kids out in it. People can go for a drive for a long drive and not feel jammed in there, man. It is a daily driver if you want to, or it's a weekend uh, car as this car has been its whole life. Uh, and it's just a great piece. It's the best used car deal out there by far. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get this in your garage. And if you don't mind, click on the like button down below. That helps us get the message out. Subscribe to the channel. We have new content coming out every day. And uh, if you want to share it with your friends, I think they'd really like it. And I'll see you on the test drive. All right, we're driving the Maz in sport mode. Listen to that exhaust right now. 
Ferrari motor tuned so you don't have to ring it out to get power, right? It makes a little downshift. That's only 4,500 RPMs with a 7,500 RPM redline. I don't like to drive them hard, it's your car. I just like to take it for a little spin before you get it so you can see what it sounds like. See what it looks like driving down the road. Man, this is some kind of driving and the top is down. How you doing? Anyway, I'll see you on the next test drive.